Hello, ghouls and gals, and I'm tired. Ah, uh, you're probably tired too. I'm uploading pretty late. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be doing this as a extension to the dungeon thing. So let's get right into the video. <coughs> the pixie looked up at me, looked around the room, and then spoke again once again. Well, this room is quite small. Why don't I train you how to expand the room? You know that glowy light that you have trailing on me in every move I make? I turned the glowy light off and just shone really brightly. It illuminated the room, mostly. It was still pretty dark in the area. My glow is very weak. <laughs> no need to do that. Anyways, you can use this light to destroy things around you. It kind of becomes a subconscious habit of switching between it, but for now, you're going to have to try really, really hard. So, think about doing this. Think about destroying the uh, wall in front of you. You already know how to trail your light around, don't you? I once again turn the spotlight on. Well, I would call it a spotlight from now on, since I didn't really have any notifications to what it was. Why did I say notifications? So, the spotlight was shining on the wall. Now, try really hard, just focus on destroying that wall. Just act like that wall is your worst enemy and you're punching them in the face. Well, I don't know what animal you are. Did you have fist? I don't think you know. My light trailed on her for a moment, or him, before t um, turning back to the wall. I thought I focused on destroying this wall. And suddenly, the wall in front of me started to disintegrate. I felt a trail of life. It felt so good. I wanted more. Just, it felt like there was more energy floating inside of me. I destroyed more of the wall, making a completely square patch. The room I was in was already square. This didn't really change much. I hit roots occasionally, which gave me more life. The fairy spoke once again. As you can probably tell, there's more life inside of living plants. So, destroy more and more and more living plants, and then you get more energy. The bigger and the more life force the plant holds, the more life force you will gain from it. And if you eat sentient beings or living animals that roam around normally like that, well, you get a lot more. Though I wouldn't suggest attempting to eat living things, it, you can do it. It's just harder. In what way harder? I asked the small pixie. Well, it's harder as in, you have to slowly kill the animal. As in, you need to actually kill it with one of your dungeon animals that you put in here. Slimes can be used to absorb mana easily. Well, other and creatures and stuff would have to go to you and physically give up the stuff and give ho and choose how much they want to give you. Slimes, when they eat it, they can just channel it to you mentally, I guess. Slimes are very mysterious creatures, and no one knows anything about them except for dungeons, because they make them. Slimes can eat for days, and unlike normal living things, they can disintegrate and eat as many creatures as they please, and then give you all of that energy. And since slimes aren't really sentient, and don't really have the level of knowledge we do, they just give it up willingly, just how much have what you want to take. That would suggest only taking half, or a quarter and a half if you're hungry, but, uh, because slimes they grow really fast on what they get, on what they get to keep. Slimes are really complicated. Speaking of slimes, you have enough energy to create one, or you can create different uh, beast. I would suggest creating different beasts because slimes are really weak at first, but as they get bigger, they develop more. It's and it does take a really short time to make them expand and grow, but we don't have that amount of short time. Because a short time is a year, and over a year they can get pretty big, but they need to eat a lot, and you don't have a lot to give. So for now, I'd suggest getting something more powerful. She tapped my heart, 
or what I thought was my heart. It was a chip of white crystal inside of my magenta crystal. In front of me appeared several options, and slime was one of them. I chose slime instinctively. Why did you choose- I just told you not to choose slime! You're not the boss of me! I shouted back at the pixie. Uh, the pixie sighed. Well, I suppose... I mean, we could spend a little more time underground and develop you more. I was in a rush, I guess. Well, why don't we try to level up your slime a lot more? Focusing on specifically slime, we can do this faster. Okay. Well, how about this? You know those roots you ate? Yeah. You can grow the plants of the roots you ate, but you need some sort of sun or something to give it photosynthesis. We could try evolving the plant, but that's kind of difficult. And I don't think you would know how to do it. Hmm. Maybe if we dig a little deeper around in the area we're in, we can expand a little more and find a couple more plants, and then merge certain genes of these plants together and create a new plant. Am I thinking too deep on this? The pixie turned to me, its magenta eyes trailing, uh, trailing on my crystal and then off once again, back into thought. Hmm. Um, what exactly are you talking about? The pixie seemed shocked for a second before giggling. <laughs> All right, I forgot. You don't know about that. Uh, so basically, dungeons can take plants and stuff that they eat and turn them into different things, merging certain plants together and messing with their genes. I see. How does this work? It's kind of complicated and kind of not at the same time. Dungeons can examine things. By that, I mean they can learn basically everything about them when they eat them. So, taking two different things and learning about their genes, if they think hard enough and deep enough, it takes about three days, I'd say, to efficiently do this. They can learn about them and learn ways to mix their genes together, creating a hybrid of the two plants. So, creating a plant that doesn't need light to grow, and merging it with a different plant that has a bunch of life energy, you can merge those two plants together and create a plant that doesn't need any light, gets really big, and has a lot of light energy. Of course, there are a couple downfalls to this, and I just started muttering off into a tangent about how to do this. So, maybe if we find something like moss, but that would be pretty difficult. We'd need to run into a cave, and we'd have to be pretty lucky to run into a cave. I see. Well, you are pretty interesting, and being a dungeon is full of surprises. But I'm feeling pretty weak from creating that slime. Oh, you probably are. That probably took a bunch of energy. Why don't you eat more? Well, couldn't we sleep? Dungeons can sleep, and it is a very efficient way to collect energy, but at the same time, dungeons can sleep for days on end, and pixies don't have very much patience. Oh. Maybe that's just my family. Well, I guess. My light started to dim, and slowly the light became nothing but a faint glow. I drifted off into a deep sleep. I probably wasn't going to wake up for a really long time. As I faded off, I could feel the uh, I could feel the pixie's small fluff of black hair lean against my crystal, and slowly I drifted off. <laughs>